In August of 2025, Beijing officially turned into the capital of the future. Over 12 acres or 50,000 square meters, 1,500 exhibits and more than 50 humanoid robot makers all gathered here at the World Robot Conference, the largest robotics expo on the planet. And as always, we got our eyes on the prize. Top-of-the-line machines, mind-blowing debuts, smarter-than-ever androids from the creme de la creme in robotics, also AI agents in physical bodies, real robot battles, and even a T-800. Let's get it. You guys remember the Wake 25, the artificial intelligence conference that just closed recently in China? If you don't, check out our previous video about it, especially the part with the robot district, because here at World Robot Conference WRC, they went with a full-on robot marketplace, where machines showed off their skills to potential buyers. Some were chatting and playing the piano, others brewed coffee or made traditional Chinese sweets, danced, showed off their agility, and demonstrated otherwise how useful they could be in real-world scenarios. And here is what China's tech leaders had on their stands. Remember the legendary T-800 from Terminator? Well, it's here. At WRC 25, Engine AI showed off their take on the iconic robot with the same code name, T-800. Standing at 6'1 or 185 centimeters tall, this cutie patootie weighs 187 pounds or 85 kilos and has 41 moving joints, an aluminum alloy exoskeleton, and high-capacity solid-state batteries. The T-800 is built for heavy, dirty, and dangerous jobs, and according to the devs, it's got the stamina Arnie could only dream of, which is, you know, obviously up for debate since Iron Arnold didn't get that name for nothing. The machine, and this is not a reference to Bert Kreischer, sees, hears, and analyzes the world through a set of sensors and makes decisions in real time. The company promises to launch it on December 24th at the Mecha King Tournament from Engine AI, a sports event that is vying for more glory than Unitree's boxing matches. Also at Engine AI's booth, we got the PM01 humanoid robot for you, which has been patrolling Shenzhen in police uniform for quite some time now. Developers claim improved agility, accuracy, better navigation in complex environments, but way smoother. We have arrived at Diamond Robotics, this company from Shenzhen that specializes in tactile sensors for robots and more. Damon Robotics focused on something critical yet often overlooked, tactile sensors. Take the DM Tac W. It's a camera-based system with a stunning resolution of up to 40,000 sensors per a tenth of a square inch or a square centimeter. It detects texture, shape, friction, and pressure in real time, surpassing even the sensitivity of a human finger and industrial-grade alternatives. This is a vision-based tactile sensor. Its principle is that you have a, a silicon surface and you have a small camera inside to watch the silicon surface. When you contact an object, the silicon deforms, and this deformation can be captured by the camera. So that's, the, that's the how you can like, get the tactile feedback. There is also the DM Hand 1, a lightweight manipulator with built-in tactile sensing that adjusts grip strength automatically. Minimalist design, flexible and precise, makes perfect for handling delicate parts. You can also tell what is the resolution of this sensor. The resolution is uh, 0.1 newtons or 0.03 millimeter deformation. So, which means you have a 0.03 millimeter deformation, it, like uh, make it deform. You can sense it. What is different between your sensors and other competitor sensors? Is, uh, uh, very, have, have, has a very high resolution in uh, tactile feedback. It can give you the uh, normal shear uh, deformations. So it can also give you the contact 3D uh, object uh, shape and uh, edge. Also it can give you the contact event detection, two sleep uh, event detection. So there is a computer manufacturer in China. They use our 
sensor in the industrial gripper to install, insert the RAM to the motherboard of the computer. Another bad boy on that stand is the DM Exton teleoperation suit for humanoid robots, which also collects training data for androids. How is your design? Well, the design, well, there are seven degrees of freedom on Prime. All the robots have also seven degrees of freedom. And uh, we collect the joint angle information and transport such information into the robot to use for robot training and learning. Do they need uh, to train operator to work with that or not need? Well, you just take like half an hour, you'll know how to operate it. Their humanoid robot, Sparky-1, is equipped with visual tactile perception, a large language model, visual control systems, AI, and dexterous hands, all trained using the DM Exton. These technologies are bringing robots closer to becoming actually useful. Next up, Fourier Intelligence from Shanghai. They introduced their CareBot GR3, a humanoid made not just for work, but for love. Basically, a cute, supportive companion on top of a machine. Standing at 5'5 five five or 165 centimeters and weighing at 156 pounds or 71 kilos, GR3 has a soft body and 55 degrees of freedom. Its full perception system combines vision, hearing, and touch. The 4-mic array is used to detect sound direction. 31 sensors are responsible for touch and eye tracking systems make for realistic interactions. It reacts instantly to speech or light touch, but takes a second when it engages its language model model for deeper, more thoughtful responses. It can take quick steps or just walk, it bends, and can even mimic fatigue. With two easily swappable batteries, it runs for up to three hours. CareBot was basically designed for nursing homes and rehab centers, schools, and public spaces. In other words, anywhere human warmth is now in short supply, GR3 will provide. We also spotted China's answer to Amica, Annie from AnyWit Robotics. Marketed as a humanoid that feels, Annie boasts 34 facial degrees of freedom, eye contact, emotion recognition, and lip sync speech. But at this point, in our humblest of opinions, it's no competition to the original Amica. Galbot from Galaxy General Robotics, on the other hand, is a completely different animal. It's a humble worker bot aimed at retail. Together with Galaxy's robot kiosk, which is an autonomous vending capsule with a complete mini logistics system inside, Galbot makes things happen. It takes orders, finds the product, picks them up, and hands them to the customers without any human involvement. Founded just two years ago, Galaxy already raised over a third of a billion dollars. Their flagship Galbot G1 is a wheeled humanoid with arms designed to handle fragile and non-standard issue items. Using the GRASP VLA system, which combines vision, language, and action protocols, the G1 quickly adapts to new tasks without practice. Since training is mostly done in simulation, using synthetic and simulated data, it speeds up development and scaling. The tech is already deployed in at least 10 Beijing pharmacies where Galbot sorts and hands out medicines, and by year's end, Galaxy aims for 100 locations across China. WRC also saw X Robotics bringing along their Gynoid to chat with visitors and turn heads, really. This year, though, their booth was much more low-key. Our regular viewers will probably remember what it looked like last year. Back at the 2024 show, the company didn't just showcase a lineup of robots, they also had women in colorful costumes to draw even more attention from the crowd. Another much-talked-about startup, Loomis Robotics, less than a year old, showcased Lust 2 Humanoid that stands at 5'3 or 160 centimeters tall, capable of getting up from a fall in just a second and running for two hours. Its balance system reacts to changes 30 times faster than a human, which greatly improve stability. The team includes former Magic Lab engineers, creators of Xiaomi CyberDog, plus talent from Tsinghua University and Dreamy. They're currently working on modular architecture for robots so that a single base can be modified into any kind of humanoid. Folks, this was just a taste of the breakthroughs from the 2025 World Robot Conference in Beijing. Part 2 is coming soon, so hit that subscribe button, like our videos, and check out our socials for more from the world of high-tech. Yeah. <laughs>